My project is about uh, examining um, religious cultural uh, attitudes towards termination of pregnancy. I pursued this project due to the alarming figure on illegal abortion in South Africa. I think as someone who works within a faith community, I've seen a lot of oppression, um, mostly towards women. I also have had friends who have done abortion, so it is important for me to find out um, what are we saying as religious people about abortion. What are we saying about women who need abortion? The majority of our congregations are women. We need to understand what women go through. We preach to women, we teach women, but we seldom listen to their experiences. For me, the workshop was, was, was life-changing, um, especially engaging with people who are not heterosexual. Um, I grew up in the rural areas. We had never had any experience of <laughs> having a conversation with someone who's gay for, or a lesbian. So having um, a conversation with people who confidently say, this is who I am, um, for me, that was, uh, that was life-changing. When I was growing up, People would say I was handsome, more like they would confuse me for, for a girl. So when we go out, then they would ask our names and then I would say, my name is Mtutus and say, oh, <laughs> you are a boy and they say, yeah. <laughs> so uh, I had self-esteem issues because we grew up knowing that what a male should look like and what a female should look like. But now having gone through the workshop and this program within gender and religion, now we just have to embrace who you are, and that is who I am. If I look like a girl, then it's fine, I'm handsome, so. <laughs> I actually opted to join this cause because, as I'm saying, we grew up in the rural areas. I'm within a faith community I'm where people of other gender identities are not welcomed. You hear comment, uh, negative comments about people who are gays, who are lesbians, um, who are intersex. Um, so. Growing up within that context, for me, we, we, we are told not to come near those people. So joining this cause for me, I needed to find out what is it that they are, they are warning us about. And I actually found out that these are people, human beings like you and me. As a minister in the making, I should create space for other people, whether they are heterosexual, whether they are gays, whether they are lesbians, whether they are intersex. They should openly share those experiences. And we, we do have some of those people within the church. They expect me to, to, to judge or they are ashamed. And that is why I say for me the biggest take home as someone who is within the faith community is to create space for all people to express themselves freely and continue to challenge the oppression that we see.